Good morning. In this class, we discuss another rearrangement that is a Wittig rearrangement. Wittig rearrangement. This uh, Wittig rearrangement is important. That that is uh, this is a method of preparation of uh, alkene from aldehyde and uh, ketone. That means. Uh, this is the conversion of aldehydes or ketones into an alkene using Wittig reagent. Okay, so what is Wittig reagent? It is the conversion of, it is the conversion of aldehydes or ketones, ketones into an alkene. Alkene using alkylidine, alkylidine triphenyl phosphorane. This is important. Alkylidine triphenyl phosphorane, or simply known as phosphorane, which is known as Wittig reagent. Wittig, Wittig reagent. So what is Wittig reagent? Alkylidine triphenyl phosphorane. Alkylidine triphenyl phosphorane. What is the uh, formula? You can see that uh, PH3P triphenyl phosphorane CR2. Uh, this is the formula of uh, alkylidine triphenyl phosphorane. PH3P double bond CR2. PH3P double bond CR2, which is known as uh, Wittig reagent. So, when aldehyde or ketone is treated with uh, this uh, Wittig reagent, it will be converted to alkene. This is what is called uh, Wittig rearrangement. Okay. So, when aldehydes or ketones are treated with uh, alkylidine triphenyl phosphorane, alkylidine triphenyl phosphorane PH3P double bond CR2, uh, these aldehydes or ketones will be converted to uh, alkene. Okay, this rearrangement is known as uh, Wittig rearrangement. That means uh, when al aldehydes or ketones, we can take uh, uh, alkyl or uh, uh, aryl aldehydes, uh, ketones. Okay, yeah, I am taking PH2C double bond O. What is this one? PH2C double bond O. That means C PH, PH double bond O. Okay, so PH, this is our uh, ketone. We can take this ketone, PH2C double bond O. Okay, react with uh, our Wittig reagent. What is Wittig reagent? PH3, PH3, okay, P double bond C, R2 or we can take CH2, yeah. okay, CH2, what is this one, methylene, methylene triphenyl phosphorane, this is an example for uh, Wittig reagent, instead of CR2, you can take CH2, what is this one, methylene, methylene triphenyl phosphorane, this is uh, our uh, Wittig reagent, what you will get, what is the rearrangement, in presence of uh, ether, ether uh, medium, Okay, so this is our ketone, PH2C double bond O, react with the PH3P double bond CH2, this is our Wittig reagent. What product we get, look at it here, this one, PH2C, PH2C, then what will happen, this bond breaks, C double bond O, so and this, this part, this part, double bond CH2, C double bond C, that means this is our alkene, alkene plus what will form, what is the remaining part, PH3P, PH3P double bond O, okay, this is the uh, reaction or uh, uh, reaction between uh, ketone and our Wittig reagent, we get alkene, we get alkene, look at here once again, PH2C double bond O, this is our ketone, this is our ketone, benzophenone, okay, our ketone, react with our Wittig uh, reagent, methylene triphenyl phosphorane, methylene triphenyl phosphorane, in ether medium we get alkene, we get alkene. Before uh, going to the mechanism of the reaction, uh, let us see how we are preparing Wittig reagent, how we are preparing Wittig uh, uh, reagent, okay. So, Wittig reagent is how we are preparing Wittig reagent. Wittig reagent is prepared by the treatment of 
the treatment of of trialkyl trialkyl or triaryl triaryl phosphine 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 with with alkyl halide alkyl halide okay with alkyl halide so what do you, uh, how do you prepare bitting reagent by the treatment of by the by the treatment of preparation of bitting reagent by the treatment of trialkyl or triaryl phosphine trialkyl or triaryl phosphine with the alkyl halide okay so look at here how we are preparing uh, uh bitting reagent by the reaction of uh, trialkyl or triaryl phosphine okay if i take uh, triaryl phosphine how do you write ph3 ph3 uh, p this is a uh, uh, tri uh, 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 phosphine okay okay phosphine react with uh, alkyl halide i am taking methyl iodide ch3 i uh, this is a better uh, alkyl halide for the preparation of bitig reagent so tri uh, alkyl or aryl phosphine react with uh, methyl iodide okay uh, uh, let us see now we can see that uh, this is uh, our uh, sn2 reaction simple sn2 reaction sn2 reaction and what do we get you can see that uh, our sn2 reaction means uh, this uh, ph3 tri uh, 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 phosphine this can act as a nucleophile this nucleophile will attack uh, this uh, alkyl halide that means uh, ch3 i this uh, ci bond is a polar bond this is uh, partially positively charged and uh, uh, it is via simple sn2 reaction so what you will get ph3 p and here it is c and here it is h h h and you can see that uh, this uh, this bond is forming ph3 p is donating its lone pair and it is attaching to carbon the same moment the ca bond is breaking okay this is our uh, uh, simple sn2 step and in the next step you can see that uh, minus i minus minus i minus uh, this bond is uh, uh, breaking and uh, this is our leaving group and we get what do we get ph3 p and uh, ch3 ch3 uh, since it's a pair of electron is donating it is getting a positive charge it is getting a positive charge okay ph3 p is getting a positive charge because it is donating a pair of electron and we get uh, this one okay uh, and in, in the next step you can see that uh, in the next step you can see that uh, in the presence of a very strong base in the presence of a very very strong base like uh, n butyl lithium n butyl lithium so how will you write n butyl lithium okay in the presence of ch3 ch2 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 i n butyl lithium so li n butyl lithium uh, this is a very strong base n butyl lithium or you can use sodium ethoxide or we can use another strong base c2h5 or na can be used or you can use uh, uh, sodium amide na nh2 etc okay uh, or okay uh, one of the uh, strong bases okay better we will use n butyl lithium okay what will happen look at here i am writing the same structure ph3p ch2 can be plus CH2 can be written as CH2H, CH2H, okay, CH2H, now what will happen, this base, that means, uh, see, look at it here, CH3, CH2, 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 Li, and of course, uh, since uh, uh, metal part is here, and this is uh, delta positive, and uh, this uh, delta negative, CH2, uh, this carbon is delta negative, of course what will happen this part will remove this proton okay okay uh, uh, this base will remove this proton look at it here this is c li bond this is a uh, uh, highly polar in nature this is la is delta positive and uh, c is delta negative and uh, what will happen this part will remove this will act as a base and it will remove a proton and what will happen to this bond this bond will be migrated to carbon and what do we get uh, we get uh, uh, ph3 p 
plus and uh, sing, C, a single bond CH2 and this is getting a minus charge okay this is getting a minus charge what will be removed uh, uh, CH3 CH2 CH2 uh, CH3 what is removed this is uh, butane this is butane is uh, uh, removed okay because uh, CH2 minus uh, taking H plus it will change into CH3 butane is removed and we get uh, uh, this ion this is known as elite it, uh, because you can see that uh, 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 you can see that uh, uh, opposite charges are present in the adjacent carbon that is that is known as uh, elite. So this is our uh, uh, this is our uh, uh, reagent pH three P single bond uh, P plus single bond CH two minus. This is our Wittig reagent. This is same only. Okay, you can see that uh, what is that? Uh, this bond is uh, shifting to here. Then what will happen? Then what will happen? The positive charge is removed, or it can be written as a pH three P double bond uh, CH two. Okay, this is same only. You can write it this way or uh, in this way. Okay, this is elite. Uh, what do you mean by elite? Uh, opposite charges are present in the adjacent carbon atoms. Okay, uh, opposite charges are present in the adjacent carbon atom. Of, of course, this is our Wittig uh, reagent pH three P plus single bond CH two minus, or it can be written as uh, this pair of electron is shifting to here. So and the positive charge, uh, positive charge is uh, removed. So what do we get? Uh, what do we get? Uh, we get uh, we get uh, uh, pH three P double bond uh, CH two. Okay. Uh, methylene triphenyl phosphorine methylene triphenyl phosphorine this is an example for uh, Wittig reagent in this way we are preparing Wittig reagent okay so Wittig reagent is prepared by trialkyl or triphenyl phosphine with uh, alkyl halide triphenyl phosphine PH3P triphenyl phosphine is reacting with uh, alkyl halide via our symbol SL2 reaction and uh, after that uh, uh, we use a strong base like uh, n-butyl lithium or sodium ethoxide etc it will remove a proton from the carbon and we get uh, elite okay that is uh, our uh, Wittig reagent now we are coming to the mechanism of uh, Wittig reaction or Wittig rearrangement so aldehyde or ketone look at here I am taking a ketone okay simple ketone R1C double bond or R2 this is our ketone ketone is reacting with our uh, uh, Wittig reagent Wittig reagent can be written as uh, uh, you look at it here uh, uh, pH 3 P single bond P, okay CH2 minus this way you can uh, write the Wittig reagent okay that means this is ili Okay, uh, Wittig reagent is like this. Okay, now what is in the first step? You can see that uh, this negative part, this CH2, CH2, this end uh, will attack on this uh, positively charged carbon because this CO group is polar in nature. This is delta positive. Therefore, what will happen? This part will attack on this carbon uh, simultaneously. This bond will migrate to will be migrated to oxygen, and you get uh, intermediate like this. What is that? Uh, R1. C here it is uh, O minus and here it is uh, R2 and you can see that uh, here it is uh, CH2 CH2 and what is that since this pair of electron is used for this making bond CH2 and what do we get uh, P PH3 and of course this P is having a positive charge this is our intermediate and uh, uh, this intermediate is known as betaine uh, betaine uh, intermediate betaine intermediate uh, uh, what do you mean by betaine intermediate uh, uh, you can see that uh, this is a dipolar complex betaine intermediate means a dipolar complex dipolar dipolar complex this is our intermediate okay dipolar complex which is known as betaine o minus and p plus dipolar it's a dipolar complex which is known as a betaine okay that means we are getting like this same thing okay look at it here we are how i am writing the structure this structure i am writing like this okay here you can see that the c o minus here it is r1 r2 or it can be written as a, okay here look at it here okay c here it is ch2 here it is ch2 and here it is p p h3 plus correct the same only c o minus and this one this bend is uh, ch2 then p plus ph3 okay look at here what is happening this negative charge this negatively charged oxygen will attack on this positively charged phosphorus okay 
this negatively charged oxygen is attacking on the positively charged phosphorus. So what you will get? You get a structure like this. See R1. Here it is R2. And here it is O. And it is like this. And here it is P. Uh, pH 3 and of course uh, this is a bond okay then there is no more positive charge because uh, this pair of electron is uh, donated to phosphorus to making this bond and you, you are getting a structure like this okay you are getting a structure like this and keep it in mind this structure is highly unstable highly highly unstable structure okay highly unstable so what will happen okay look at here okay keep it in mind this is our aldehyde or ketone you can take this as a ketone and this is our vitic reagent you can see that uh, vitic reagent can be written as ph3 p double bond ch2 or it can be written in the form of uh, 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 ion this uh, this way you can write this is a uh, isomeric form uh, uh, okay and uh, a resonance form okay a resonance form okay you can see that uh, this negatively charged carbon is attacking on this uh, partially positively charged carbon and you are getting betaine that means uh, this is a dipolar complex so uh, the same thing only okay now uh, we are continuing so as i told you this structure is highly unstable okay uh, highly unstable and uh, what will happen because uh, since this structure is highly unstable it will, it will immediately it will undergo breakdown breakdown okay uh, breakdown how it is breaking uh, 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 okay you can see that uh, okay uh, uh, look at it here um, uh, this since this structure is highly unstable there is a rearrangement look at it here you can see that uh, uh, this bond, this bond, the CO bond, this bond breaks from oxygen and it is migrating to here. Okay, simultaneously this, this bond, P, C bond, this bond breaks from this carbon and it is uh, uh, shifting to here. Okay. Okay, that means uh, this CO bond breaks from oxygen and is uh, uh, shifting between these two carbon. So, uh, simultaneously this PC bond breaks from carbon and it is shifting to here. What we will get? We get uh, here it is R1, C, R2, R2 and you can see that uh, uh, this bond is uh, shifting to here. Double bond and what is present here? CH2. Here it is uh, CH2 plus what we will form? P, PH3 and what is that? Uh, this bond is shifting to here. Double bond. Here, see, here you are getting the alkene. Here you are getting the alkene. This is the mechanism of a uh, vitic reagent. Okay, here this is alkene, and uh, uh, this is the entire mechanism for uh, vitic reagent. Okay, now this vitic reagent is important as I told you, it is for the preparation of uh, alkene. Similarly, uh, uh, we can discuss. Uh, the importance of a uh, Wittig reagent, uh, what are the usefulness of uh, uh, uses of uh, Wittig reagent, that means uh, we can make uh, exocyclic methylene group for the preparation of uh, exocyclic methylene group. Okay, look at here, what do you mean by exocyclic methylene group? Applications of uh, uh, Wittig reagent, applications. Okay, I am discussing only one application that means uh, preparation of uh, exocyclic, exocyclic methylene, methylene compound, exocyclic methylene compound. Look at here, uh, we are taking, okay, what is this compound? Cyclohexanone, cyclohexanone is treated with uh, uh, our uh, Wittig reagent pH 3 P plus single bond uh, CH 2 minus correct what is the first step this CH 2 minus will attack on this positively charged carbon okay then what will happen this bond is uh, shifting to oxygen so what we get we get a structure like this look at it here okay here it is like this and here it is uh, O minus and here it is uh, CH 2 CH2 and here it is uh, P, PH3, uh, P, uh, 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 what is that, uh, CH2, P, PH3 plus, this plus, okay, CH2, CH2, then P, PH3 plus, or uh, 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 in the next step, what is happening, the next step, what is happening, as we have discussed earlier, this negatively charged oxygen is attacking on this uh, 
uh, phosphorus. So we get uh, a structure like this. Look at it here. Okay, here it is like this, and here it is O. Here it is CH2, and here it is P, PH3, P, PH3, and here it is a new bond. Okay. P, PH3, PH3, and here it is a new bond. And in the next step, as we have discussed earlier, what is happening? This bond breaks from oxygen and it is shifting to here, and uh, this bond breaks from carbon and it is okay. And uh, why this is happening? This structure is highly unstable, and we get look at here what, what structure we are getting. It is like this, okay. And you can see that since this bond is shifting to here, double bond CH2 plus. Uh, what is the byproduct? P, PH3, double bond. Oh, this is our uh, exocyclic methylene group. See, exocyclic methylene group. Oh, so, for the preparation of this type of compound, this uh, 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 reaction is important. So, what is the compound name? Methylene cyclohexane. Methylene cyclohexane. Methylene cyclohexane. We get methylene cyclohexane. Other uses, other applications of uh, Wittig reagent, okay, Wittig reagent, that means uh, if you take uh, P, uh, PH3 or, or PH3, PH3, P plus single bond uh, CR, uh, CH2 or you can take CR2 minus, okay, uh, anyway that is Wittig reagent only, uh, okay, uh, look at here, uh, we are treating with, uh, Wittig reagent is treated with, uh, uh, Ketene, what is ketene? R2C double bond C double bond O. What is this one? This is ketene. When it is treated with the ketene, what we will get? Uh, we can see that uh, what we get? Uh, we get uh, 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 R2C double bond C uh, uh, double bond C. Then what we will get? We get uh, R2, R2C R2C double bond C double bond C, instead of double bond O, what we will get, we will get double bond CR2, CR2, okay, CR2, okay, uh, because here it is PH3P, double bond CR2, okay, here it will come, R2C, double bond C, double bond CR2, when it is treated with KT, similarly, when you treat with isocyanate, what is isocyanate, RN, double bond C, double bond O, this is isocyanate, isocyanate, when it is treated with uh, isocyanate, what we will get? R, N, double bond C, double bond uh, CR2, CR2. Similarly, when it is treated with uh, nitroso compound, R, N, double bond O, nitroso, nitroso compound, nitroso compound, what we get? We get, uh, we get R, N, double bond uh, C, R2. Okay. These are the other applications of uh, uh, Wittig uh, reaction and uh, thank you.